Today I'm making this video and I'm talking directly to everyone, not as a happy person, a little bit as a angry Nyana person. You know, just before I hit the gym, you know, this just hit my mind. Actually, I've been thinking about it since yesterday and on workers' day. I'm three days late after workers' day, but this is something that I'm actually unhappy about. And the reason I'm unhappy about this is because there's so much complaining when it comes with what I'm going to talk about in this video. The problem or the issue of unemployment in South Africa. We understand, we all know that it is the highest um, uh, rate in the whole world. You know, South Africa has the most unemployed people. And when it comes to the unemployed youth, the numbers have just skyrocketed. It's really, really high. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Okay. So, why am I upset about that? Unlike what I see most of the time online when I hear people complaining or talking about unemployment, it is me not really complaining about the fact that um, people are unemployed because the government is not providing jobs. It's not me complaining about the fact that there are not enough jobs out there, whether in the private sector or in the public sector. What I am going to complain mostly about in this video is more of a question to everyone. When are we, when are you as a person going to take responsibility? When are you going to be accountable for your own life and understand that there is no one out there who is coming to save you from your unemployment? You know, I've made a video in the past talking about there is no one out there to save you, but I was specifically talking to men in that video, but right now I'm talking to everyone and especially young people within the age ranges that I'm in, which is between 22 and 35. If you are unemployed, if you have a job that you are not happy with and it's a very low paying job, it is not anyone's fault but yours. Okay, this is to say that you have to take the accountability and the responsibility for yourself. Okay, there is ways that you could make more money if money is the thing that you are looking for specifically when you are in a job, whether you like the job or not. If you are looking for something that is a dream job or if you are looking to do something that you are passionate about then you could be doing that but instead you are complaining that there are no opportunities out there i remember one time watching this youtube video i think it was from sbc one they did an interview talking about the high unemployment rate in the country and they had an activist uh, talking there and the guy was literally complaining that he has 10 or more business plans that he has submitted and he never got any funding. This guy was literally complaining and there he is calling himself an activist. And that's the problem with today's activists. They are whining, they are complaining. They are a bunch of little what I call pussies. I've got no regrets over what I'm saying. I've got more disdain towards these people because... You are complaining instead of creating solutions for yourself. So what you have 10 business plans, and I'm talking to everyone else who probably has a business plan or a business idea. So what you've got an idea, so what you've got a business plan of a great business, and so what that you're not getting funding from the government or from whoever you think that you may have to get funding from. It is not their responsibility. It's your fucking responsibility to actually act on your feet. It's your responsibility to start working on your feet instead of sitting down, hoping, daydreaming that something can happen for you. You know, I'm complaining in this video, but I'm doing this because I fucking love you. And I love myself. I love all the people out there. And you all have to take responsibility for yourself and understand that anything that you want to achieve in this life, it cannot happen for you unless you make it happen for you. You know, there's this saying that um, I think in Zulu it will go in the lines of meaning that God only helps those who help themselves. I'm not a religious guy, but in that saying, it will tell you that in order for anyone to help you, in order for God, if you believe in God to help you, you actually have to fucking stand up and do things for yourself so that he can see that, okay. This person is actually putting in effort and therefore my effort will not go into waste if I put an effort into this person. This is how some people are getting discovered by greater people, like people that we look up to. When somebody is discovered by that great person, it's because they had already started doing the groundwork and they see that, you know what, this person is going somewhere and I'd like to bring them close into my tribe and grow them so that they can do more of that work. But all we are good at is complaining, especially when it comes to unemployment. 
I am going to challenge anyone who watches this video up until this point, if you are in a township or if you are in the city, and I've been to some rural areas, <clears throat> this is actually starting to happen. <clears throat> Take a walk of just 10 minutes and tell me if you will not find a foreign national documented or undocumented doing a business that you look down on, but this person is making way more money than you and probably your entire household. Doing something that you look down upon because it is beneath you because maybe you are educated, maybe because you have a diploma or you have a matric certificate and therefore you will not stand in a corner and sell bananas and apples and tomatoes or you will not push a trolley around your neighborhood or your township just because it is something that's beneath you. If you are in the city, take a walk. 10 minutes is actually a lot. <clears throat> it can be two minute walk. You will see someone doing a job that you think is beneath you or doing a hustle that you believe that is beneath you but this person in a day makes 150 300 rand 500 rand in profit i'm talking profit in a day you multiply that let's say you multiply 500 rand times six days that they do that because most of the time they do it for six days or seven days in a week six days in a week that's 2500 rand in profit in a month that is 10,000 rands 10,000 rands which is a higher salary than what most well-paying jobs look like in this country. But we have the guts, we have the audacity to complain that the government is not providing jobs. Yes, we will talk about the government at some point because the government has created this sort of expectation, but it is high time that we understand that these people are just politicians who are looking for your votes when they make these empty promises. Same promises they've been making since 1994 is 28 years later. They still make the same kind of promises and they are going to continue making those promises until we fucking wise up, until we fucking wake up. And all, and all I just want to say in this video is that take accountability and responsibility for your own life. Understand that there's no one out here to come help you uproot you out of poverty whether it be some of your own friends some of your own family members or the government of your country if you're not watching this from south africa but if you are watching this from south africa understand that the government is not going to do anything for you the only person who do anything for you and your family is you i love you very much all the brothers sepo here if you like this video click on the like button watch other content and be on the lookout for Virtual Cuckoo. Virtual Cuckoo is a great platform for all entrepreneurs, including myself, that I learn from the greats. This is from DJ Zbu and now partnering with another person I've been following for a very long time, whom is Penwell the God, Penwell the Black Pen, you choose who you want to call him. And the platform is called Virtual Cuckoo under the Hustlers Corner. It's a fucking amazing. Go subscribe to their channel. Subscribe to this one as well. Hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Much love to all of you.